So, hello YouTube friends. I want to show you a product or, or something that I made. It's um, a kind of a roll-up pulk that um, you can keep attached to your backpack. I had the idea of making this product uh, or this thing for myself to make it easier to hitchhike or cycle or use public transport without having to, um, you know, figure out how to transport the big pulk. And especially in this season when it's kind of shoulder season and you, you know, have stretches of snow and places where there's no snow, then it's easier. You can just pick it up as it is. So you see the pulk attaches and stays attached to the backpack. I want to give credit to after I did uh, have the idea to build this and went to a hardware store and got some off-cut piece of this HDPE uh, one millimeter sheet told a friend of uh, mine about this uh, idea and he said like hey check out there is this pool pack by Jemtlander checked out the page and apparently there is um, yeah a really good product much better than this one I guess I think the shape is much better um, but I have one feature so if you're from Jemtlander pool pack please keep watching you might find there is a feature that you might want to adopt uh, to your design because uh, it's about putting it all together without tools that works easily with gloves. You will see soon. So I'm going to take this apart now um, and show you how it's done. Um, so credits to Jemtlander Pool Pack for getting some inspiration from internet pictures. Um, and yeah, I'm not buying new stuff. Uh, please also check out my channel and have a look at other videos than you see about my um, off-grid yurt life here in the sub-arctic. Um, living without personal overshoot day, so I avoid buying new stuff, but work as a wilderness guide, so I need to do some compromises, uh, which allow me to build bridges for people to, you know, feel home in the woods. And this is one of these, so, um, yeah, I will show you. The whole thing weighs about one kilo. Oh, by the way, the backpack, um, you will see, I tilt this down a bit, and you can see how it's all attached. So I have the pull cord here um, attached to this very simple thing. I've, you know, it's a very simple 50 millimeter wide belt I found um, on the rubbish bin from some um, like life jacket, inflatable life jacket from some workers. It had lots of welding holes in it, so I salvaged the uh, salvaged the um, the buckle, uh, the belt, and. This sliding metal D-ring actually is nice when, because this pull is, you know, it's going right and left and all over the place. So when the pull is going to the side, you know, this just slides around very easily and uh, kind of makes the pull then go to the side or when you go, you know, uphill sideways with the skis. So um, then like here, my trusted blade hitch, easy adjustment of the length. And I'm gonna take this off now. By the way, the whole costs for this, um, like building everything, um, like less than 15 euro. And uh, the whole weight of it is like um, just the pulk with the straps, about 900 grams, one kilo. Um, and then everything together is like 1.2 kilos. So I'm taking the backpack off. the backpack itself I could make a video about this it's like a Finnish army MR5 backpack with uh, a lot of modifications so I basically took it apart added mesh pockets okay but here you see the, the simple design bend it up here in the front and open in the end and um, so yeah what what is there to it like Oh, thank you, uh, people at Jebe Sojabete, a company here that makes truck tarps. They let me use the tools to get these nice grommets here. So I'm going to show you now how how this part I put together, and this is, I think, is the one that I solved a bit more elegantly than with a screw. Um, so see there's some holes in here so that it doesn't crack further. I think I have the whole design a bit too wide. 
so it's a bit too floppy i think if it were a bit more narrow it would be a bit more stable so then i have like a piece of string going through all these like piece of string here stop a knot going through all these holes and then i have this like tent cord you know like uh let's see if you can see this like this tensioning here and you just get it out of here tricky with one hand but um so and then you see this stays all attached with the stopper knot the string is always attached to these pieces and um that means i can assemble the whole thing without using tools and with while wearing like gloves or mittens so then just you know flip these belt inside those straps here and then you can roll up the whole thing so now it's all rolled up and Yeah, so there's really not much to it. Small, nice package, 1.2 kilo, uh, giving you the possibility to uh, not have to carry your bag. And I've also tried it last weekend, you know, with a lot more luggage, big duffel bag on it. And yeah, it works really quite nicely. Um, I think the two millimeter version that you can buy commercially is probably a bit better like if I had had the opportunity to get two millimeter, I would have rather gone for the slightly stiffer, um, like kind of more durable two millimeter version um, instead of having this lightweight one. But that's just how what I got and let's see how long it will live. Yeah, so that was it. Um, thank you for, there's some ice in my beard. Have a good time. Uh, wishing everyone really good times. Take good care of yourselves. Go outside and enjoy um reality happens outside good times hey though